The man behind is to stab one of the ghouls. Those when I started to make them into birds, but because I didn't know how to draw the details of them, I gave them human faces and hair like muskogs. The woman here is surrounded by birds and ghouls. The man below is about to arrow down one of the ghouls. And the woman is caught and her head is about to be torn off. The man below is about to arrow down one of the ghouls. When one of these is killed, do all the faces die as well? Probably because they are one being. Uh, they are shaped something like nighthawks, but much bigger. Do they even make the things that people by the hair? They do not have a head covering? I am not sure. I remember something to draw those things. But as I do them, they changed. Do the tails of the ghouls wrap like arms do? Yes, the faces in the back have no arms, so the tail is their help. Mm -hmm. Do some of these have more arms than the others? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Do they have this woman here was at home alone, and that girl went into her head off, and that child is crying from tears. This man is just arriving from traffic and is hearing a cry, so he entered. But one of the girls has just blocked the entrance. Are those children at the top? Yes, those are children. These children were playing and two teenagers are also playing. Plus the man below them at the Khamotik was taking unawares. And the same with the man who's jigging. This girl who killed the woman, what is his name? 
What did they see? Inung mik takuyun, shaped like an inuk, with an outer parka, and hair so long the face was hard to see. On the land? Yes, we used to live on the land, and wow, I was so scared, I didn't try to see, so I just ran away. I just ran away with the rest of them. Thank you Yeah, 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 yeah